Hey friends, Isaac here. It's Tuesday, June 28th. Welcome to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Kevin is a best-selling author, international speaker, and global brand publisher. He's founder, executive director of Global Hope India, and CEO of Spirit Media. Spirit Media. As a serial entrepreneur, Kevin has helped start hundreds of churches, businesses, and nonprofits throughout the world. Before starting today's episode, Kevin asked me to make sure you've heard about the Writers Club with Kevin White. Kevin just finished writing his third book in three years. He can help you write your first or next book. The Writers Club with Kevin White is a weekly small group via Zoom with writers for accountability and structure through coaching and collaboration. Learn more at spiritmedia.us. That's spiritmedia.us. Today, Kevin is joined by Temsala Bass of Nashville, North Carolina. Temsala is a sister in Christ, friend and board member for Global Hope India. Put your hands together and let's welcome Kevin and Temsala to today's show. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Live in the Dream show. My name's Kevin and I'm here with my co-host Temsala. We're waving at you on YouTube. And if you're listening wherever podcasts can be heard, we're so excited to have you in the audience. Thank you for joining us. We would love for you to like, subscribe, share, and comment. We would love your feedback. We appreciate your feedback. And so we have an exciting episode for you today. It is June the 28th, 2022. I hope you're ready for July, but we want to make sure before you dive into another month, that you are diving into the presence of God. Here on the show, we champion Revelation 7, 9 through 12, that every nation, tribe, and tongue will be worshiping Jesus in heaven. That's happening in heaven today, and we are going to go there as as we finish our life here on earth someday, or when Jesus comes back, whichever happens first. But we want to not only wait until we get to heaven, Jesus taught us to pray, Let it be on earth as it is in heaven. And so we champion that we would be united and compassionate and kind and considerate, loving and neighborly to other passport holders, people with other skin colors and heritages and nationality, languages, uh, that we would be one together as the body of Christ. And we've been going through John chapter 14, verse 27. So, Timsala, why don't you walk us through it and just recap for us what we've talked about the last couple of weeks, and then we're going to dive into it as we close it out today. For the last couple of days, we have um, discussed about what the verse 27 says, peace I leave with you, and that's the peace that comes from Jesus Christ, the peace that comes from Christ, the peace, the presence of God that we all have the opportunity to have. And that's what Jesus is talking about, that he leaves it for each one of us, you and I. I mean, how honored should we feel that, you know, God is offering this peace to each one of us and he is living with us. My peace I give to you. And it doesn't matter, you know, whatever color, whatever race, whatever nationality, Uh, whatever gender you are, this is the peace that Jesus is offering to each one of us. Mm -hmm. It says, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. It's not how the world thinks. It's not how the world is offering, you know, saying, if you have this, you will have peace. Or if you get this, you will have peace. But the peace that Jesus is offering is so different. It is an everlasting kind of a peace. It is the presence of God living with us until the end. It has an eternal concept to it. And the next thing is, let not your heart be troubled. And that's why Jesus said, let, let not your heart be troubled because he knows that you and I are going to be troubled. Mm-hmm. You know that our hearts will not be at peace and so he is warning us ahead of time you know that i'm going i leave my peace with you and so 
take uh, comfort in that knowledge that he is with us, walking with us, no matter what situation, what circumstances we might be facing. But Jesus is saying that he is comforting us, that he is never going to leave us nor forsake us. And so we sh should not allow our hearts to be troubled. And not just that, you know, that we should not be afraid of the future. We should not be afraid of anything because the presence of God with, is with us. And how many times do we allow things to frighten us, things to uh, make us uh, be afraid or things to trouble, worry us to such an extent that it makes us sick. But Jesus is saying that he is going to be with us. He is offering that peace. He is offering himself. He his presence, he is offering to each one of us. And so our hearts should not be troubled, neither should we be afraid. And that's something that he is uh, offering to each one of us. Mm -hmm. You know, Kevin, I just wanted to share something personal. Um, when I first got pregnant, I was diagnosed with fibroid tumor, and I never realized that I had that tumor. Mm -hmm. But when the doctor told me that, you know, the only thing, the word that I could hear was the tumor. The rest of it was all blur. I just heard the tumor and my heart was, you know, I just, my heart stopped for a moment. Mm -hmm. Then I said, Lord, I don't know. You are in control. That's all I could think about. And as the days went by, since you have the fibroid tumor, you can lose your baby any moment. It was something that I had prayed about. And so, you know, as the word of God says that his peace is in us as his children, it's already he has left it in us. And so I mentioned it to the doctor and I said, I'm at peace. No matter what the outcome is going to be, I'm at peace because I know that my God has everything in his hand. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know the outcome, but I know that he does. Mm -hmm. And so my heart is at peace. Yeah. Whether things turn out for the worse or things turn out for the better, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what the outcome is, but I know that God has everything in his control. Mm -hmm. And so my heart was at peace. And the doctor at the time told me that, how, how is it possible that you are peaceful about this? I can see that there is a peace about this news. You are not like crying out or agitating or you are not just going crazy about this. And I said, no, it's not that. It's, I don't have, my heart is not trouble. Mm -hmm. And I'm not afraid of the outcome because I have the peace of God. Amen. The presence of God. Yeah. And so it's something like this that every day, it doesn't mean that I'm brave all the time. It doesn't mean that I don't worry. It doesn't mean that I am not afraid. Mm -hmm. I am afraid. I get troubled. I worry. But it's during those times that I also talk to God. And I also ask God to help me in overcoming. And all of us go through those seasons and um, I just want to encourage people you know through my own personal testimony that it doesn't mean that we don't go through those things but let us take God's word to heart mm -hmm. and believe that when he says that he leave his peace that means he did really leave his peace with each one of us mm -hmm. it's for us to just take it and claim it yeah and that's what the enemy doesn't want us to do is to claim it mm -hmm. Yeah. And yes. Yeah. Um, I love that word claim. And one of the words that come to mind as you're sharing that is replace it. As Themsela just shared openly, we can't control what we what comes our way. We can't control if gas prices are going to go up, if more wars going to happen between China and Taiwan, as what's happening with Ukraine and Russia, Russia, we can't control COVID-19 and more viruses. Uh, we can't control mass shootings uh, here in the USA. 
You can't control what's happening in uh, the monsoon in Nepal. And there's mm -hmm. we can just keep we could talk two more days and just list one thing after another of all of this that we can't control. But you can control what you replace it with. Yes, you can control. Jesus is saying, do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. So mm -hmm. wars you can't control, but you can replace it with the presence of God. It doesn't mean deny it. You can't, you can't make the war go away. You can't make COVID go away. You can't make a monsoon go away. Now we mm -hmm. can pray, Lord, let the monsoon go in a different direction or weaken the monsoon or let the war come to an end. Absolutely pray. But you don't have to wait until the prayer is answered to get the peace of God. You can get the peace of God just like that. You can replace fear with the peace of God. You can replace doubt with the peace of God. You can replace worry with the peace of God. It doesn't mean that you're not going to be tempted again five minutes from now, but in five minutes, you can replace it with peace. In five days, you can replace it with peace. And so I just encourage uh, everyone to see what the gift this is really a gift that Jesus is talking about. He's saying, I am giving you my presence and you can come into my presence 24 7, 365, mm. and you can know peace in my presence. And that's yes. available. That, that can happen no matter what you face, how long you face it. Mm -hmm. You can, every day you face this crisis or this, this trouble. You can, you can have the peace of God in the midst. Mm. And that's mm. the beauty. I mean, like Jesus, the word says, he's an ever-present help in time of trouble. of trouble. He doesn't say you're not going to have trouble. Actually, Jesus is very honest. And he said, in this world, you're going to have trouble. Mm -hmm. But I have overcome the world. And what he's saying is you can replace that trouble with presence. And again, we're not saying magically make it disappear, treat mm -hmm. it as if it's not there. I can't go out to my car and maybe it has a flat tire and say, that tire is not flat. I speak in the name of Jesus, the tire is not flat. It's still going to be flat. But I can know the peace of God when I'm changing that tire, when I'm getting it repaired, when I'm dealing with it. I can have mm -hmm. the peace of God there. I don't have to worry about it and, and be fearful about it. And so, Demsela, what comes to mind in these last four words? We talked about the first five. Now I want to really focus as we end on the last four. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. What comes to your mind before we close out the show? What comes to my mind is I'm afraid what is going to be the future. I'm afraid of, um, like you are talking about, you know, how the world is going to end. I'm afraid about, you know, so many things about my kids, about our future, about uh, the war, about, you know, even going to the store with so many shooting here and there. Jesus said to not be afraid. It's like uh, he is telling us all those things are going to be there. But when my presence is in you, then that's all you need. You don't have to be afraid mm -hmm. about anything. It doesn't mean that we go out and make some foolish decisions, mm -hmm. you know, be foolish about things. But then be wise and discerning and yet be bold. Be bold and not be afraid of anything. Do not allow the things of this world to really discourage us, disharden us, or to make us afraid. I mean, if we, I read the news, I will be uh, so afraid of everything outside that I will just stay inside and not go out anywhere at all. But that's not what it is. And God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of boldness. And so... That's something that it's a choice that we have to make is I'm choosing not to be afraid. I'm choosing not to be afraid of people that look different to me. 
I'm choosing not to be afraid today. I'm choosing not to be afraid to talk to strangers. It doesn't mean that, you know, we make foolish decisions and do things, but then we teach our children not to talk to strangers. But in the same way, we are also encouraging them to be wise and discerning. And so, yeah, when we have Christ, the peace of God in us, we should not be afraid. Mm -hmm. And I was just thinking as you were talking about, sometimes I think we have really used the word peace and love in a very um, light way. And that's what the world has made the the word peace from God, Mm -hmm. the love of God, very light. And yet it is filled with such heaviness. It is filled with such grace. It is filled with so much of, uh, love, the peace and love, it, it works together. Mm-hmm. And so that's something that God has already given it to us. It is out of his love that he's filling our life with his presence, with his peace. And so we should not be afraid of um, what lies ahead of us, what trouble we face. Let us not be afraid mm-hmm. because God is in front of us yeah. fighting the battle. So let us not be afraid. Yeah. Let us walk boldly. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want you to hear that, everyone in the audience, that Jesus says, do not be afraid. What's scaring you today? What's worrying you? You know, when Adam and Eve sinned, fear, guilt, and rejection entered the world. Before they sinned, they were made in the image of God and they exhibited security acceptance and significant as a result of the sin they knew fear guilt and rejection then in christ our identity that we were created with in creation was restored to us and it's only in the presence of god that we can have security acceptance and significance restored to us And if you have prayed that prayer that I prayed a couple of episodes ago and taken Jesus only for salvation, it is your God ordained right not to be Mm -hmm. afraid, not to be afraid about what happens in the future. Paul even said to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Mm, Amen. And, And so do not be afraid. We are living in a day where mental health crisis is is at an all-time high. Anxiety is crippling so many people to our left and to our right. Suicide Mm. is at an all-time high. And I plead with you in the name of Jesus, do not be afraid. And you might be saying, how? Well, go back and listen to these episodes because the how is named Jesus. It's Mm. his presence. And it is, and, and you say, you say how it is a gift. So receive the gift of Jesus's presence, the gift of God with you 24, seven, 365. I really hope that this series on John 14, verse 27 has been impactful to you. I want you to receive it as the gift that it's meant from your heavenly father. And I pray that it will result in your fears diminishing and the Mm. spirit of God, the presence of God increasing in your life. We'll see you next week on Living the Dream Show. God bless you all. God bless you all. Shalom. Yeah, peace. Shalom. God bless you. Research shows 3 billion people still have limited to no access to know about Jesus. Did you know that if 3 billion people formed a human chain, it would circle the Earth at the equator 75 times? One of those billion people far from God calls India home. Global Hope India has been empowering Christian churches throughout India as they provide access for all people to know about Jesus. Learn more at globalhopeindia.org. That's globalhopeindia.org. Thank you for listening to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Don't forget to visit spiritmedia.us for the Writers Club with Kevin White. 
a weekly small group via Zoom with writers for accountability and structure through coaching and collaboration. Visit spiritmedia.us today. Visit kevinwhite.us and join thousands of subscribers to Kevin's free daily one-minute motivation series called Generously Blessed. Kevin's books, Audacious Generosity and Get to the Point, are available in hardback, paperback, ebook, and audiobook at kevinwhite.us, worldwide on Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, and everywhere books are sold. Your five-star review on Amazon will be greatly appreciated. This has been Living the Dream with Kevin White. Find the complete archive of all episodes at kevinwhite.us or subscribe for free through your favorite podcast player and never miss an episode. This program is copyright Kevin White International Incorporated. All rights reserved. Each week we bring you a message of living the dream as people of every nation, tribe and tongue worship Jesus together on earth today as it already is in heaven. Remembering the gift of God's presence through Jesus Christ is accessible to everyone. Join us again next week for Living the Dream with Kevin White.